Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for yet another combination reading. So whatever I wrote at the top is what we're gonna discover inside the video, how that came about. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Look, my channel can be real religious, but I'm not religious at all. I could come across that way really big. Uh, the the scripture is found in the tarot. It's written upon my heart. I, I walk by the truth of the word. And uh, so, you know, if you didn't know that the scripture was here, it absolutely is here. I believe in the Ten Commandments. It's written upon my heart. I love Yeshua, the Hamashiach, the son of the living Elohim, which is Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. And people call him the universe. But uh, that is who I'm connecting with him in, in my readings. And he's very tangible. He is an Elohim of war against wickedness. And I do a work here on this channel to uproot that stuff so we look at anything uh criminal activity the good the bad the ugly the disgusting end time prophecy whatever comes out whatever Jehovah wants he'll bring it out so if you say you say if you don't then i guess you gotta go away uh with all that said let's just get in here and see what's going on with this reading i get real tired of the intro if you are new i know that my um subscribers know that <laughs> and, you know especially when you're doing back-to-back -back videos and you got to repeat that it's like oh my gosh anyway Jehovah, i just appreciate you so very much i just thank you for clear to find messages just come on in here and prophesy by way of yeshua what to um zodiac signs do you want to uh talk to well you know as i've started these readings back up um Taurus your energy is really just coming out as, as I've started these eventually everybody will be read for but uh really wants to be seen what's going on with with your energy but it's here so we're gonna look at Taurus and Capricorn so two earthy energies here let's see you'll hold up come on in here we just take authority over every foul, wicked, dark energy and shove it down to the pit of hell. Jehovah rebuke you. Jehovah, what do you want to say to Taurus and Capricorn? What's around them? What do they need to be forewarned about? What do they need to change? What do they need to continue in? Um, what's the energy? Some, somebody's sad. Somebody's been real sad, maybe for a long time. I don't know. Somebody could be very bitter, crying over something that with soulmates or a third outside situation or a third outside party of some sort. There's still two cups though left here. If some people can turn around, some people will. Uh, something very much emotional here. The moon, something about a mother and children or your home or your soulmates again are here. Uh, if somebody had been hunting and chasing after some somebody because of some bitterness, and that's what the moon and the negative in the Hebrew represents. Otherwise, if this is somebody upright, righteous, and humble uh, with the moon in the Hebrew of the upright of this card. But somebody could also have been in fear around something to turn around and take cups. I'm not sure. Uh, for some of you all, that might be the case because if, if this is real emotional stuff coming out here between your energy. Um somebody feels something in a very big way here between your energy there's a lot of cups man somebody's overindulging because of bitterness or overindulging because they can't get out of grief around a home situation around children or a mother uh or just some type of soulmate situation then this is here otherwise if you're going to take around take this cup it is as emotional as it is and what you feel there's a wish fulfillment here Okay, there's the Queen of Cups. Wow, everything is cups in your energy, man. Well, given what's out here, and we also see somebody possibly blocking somebody's happiness. Nobody can block your happiness. I don't care who they think they are. If this person, obviously, for some of you all, this person would be in the negative. If this is bitterness and I'm emotional and I'm overindulging because of something that happened, uh, then this person is like I am nothing but a, a, a manipulator somebody got manipulated somewhere this is deception and lies and I'm, I'm gonna hunt you and chase you because I'm bitter okay and all I do is overindulge and there's just a lot of heavy emotions here otherwise if you're gonna turn around this is nursing energy in the upright to use your intuition to get a wish fulfillment here and then that'd be beautiful that's way too much water man but earth will take in the water as well so hopefully you know those of you who can turn around please turn around okay if it's family matters I guess it's family matters um, but there's, there's some big time water out here what else 
do you want to bring out here between Taurus and Capricorn, please, Jehovah? What's going on out here? Um, the two of wands. Well, somebody plotted something. Somebody's at a crossroad. What are you at a crossroad about? Turning around and getting some type of happiness from after being sad? Obviously, somebody plotted something here within some ordeal. Okay, if this is your mother or a boss or your sister or it's just some soulmate that's here or a nurse or something like that and some, some type of a, a crossroad plotting type of energy about a decision is here. Somebody really depressed. Okay, there you are, Taurus. Um, so if we're dealing with mother situations, the moon goes back to mother situations as well. She's sitting on the moon as well. She got money in her hand. There's money situations. Then somebody plotted something around some, you know, um, home matter or around your wife or baby mama wars that went down or the third party or somebody got pregnant around something. And that's what it's showing here. Um, if there's legal matters, and for some people there are, that there's projects and somebody carried something off. Okay, this is the uh, the pictograph of the leg in the Hebrew. If you're new, it represents to carry something or to carry something off. It's rich and generous energy in the Hebrew. Uh, there's bank systems here because she's holding the bag of money. Um, also represents, you know, the law. I mean, somebody's obviously out of balance somewhere. If they've lost their value and this is in the negative, then somebody's out of balance somewhere because there's just nothing but water up here. All right, so so what? You're holding a bag of money. If you do have money and something happened through deception, there's bitterness and nobody's happy then here. They're just overindulging unbalanced abomination then around your energy. Otherwise, you turn around, take the cups. If you got information and there is legal stuff, and for some people there are, then you'll get a victory and a wish fulfillment out here. We'll see what else comes out. One more. Thank you. The world card. Well, something's over. Okay. We have the letter S or SH. The G and the L. The T or the TS is also here. Ready? S, S is what I said. So if you have law, then more water is here. The Knight in Shining Armor can also be a law card. It's water, though, man. Real dreamy type of energy. But somebody somebody obviously got manipulated somewhere where, where family matters or on the job, on some type of travel trip that's been here within some ordeal. So we're seeing something close out here in a very big way. Some may have been secretive around a um, pregnancy issue. Her belly's sticking out. Some may got pregnant and, they, and, and uh, they were in deception about that thing. And it's here. This is also bank system. So we got a lot of money between your energy. Give me just a second. What's hidden here that's coming to the surface about this stuff? Uh, wedding situations. Also, a business card could be here with this uh, card. Okay, a loss of some type of independence as well. So, if this you know, this is a boss, and something ended at work. Some somebody being real bitter because somebody did something around a boss, and there was pregnancy situations around that. Somebody got manipulated. Uh, then I guess for some people that might be the case because that energy is here. Um, but some type of marital situation, third party. Y'all got some real sad stuff out here. But if you're going to turn around take the cups, it's positive. This is a reward type of energy using your wisdom to take those cups. And some of you all have a... Um, some of you all have, uh, you know, an emperor. If it's safe for you to love, and you, there was just some type of baby mama wars or some, but something with your family that didn't like some type of a connection because some, somebody was jealous around something that took off around some ordeal, uh, then there's some type of a, a connection that would be here with the empress. Capricorn, I think the empress came out in your reading as well for another sign that I, that I looked at. Uh, then there is some type of a wedding here. Okay, for, for somebody to turn around, even if you've just interjectly just went through some hardship in your family and somebody's got some type of a nice connection then out here. There's a friend here that's beneficial within some ordeal that possibly is coming to the surface to help you within something. Okay, it's, I always just bring out the flowers. She's got flowers in her hands. Maybe somebody's name's connected to a flower in some type of a connection uh, or something like that. Uh, if somebody's hidden 
that's coming to the surface and your friend was involved in something that happened and you thought they were beneficial, then that energy could possibly be here just given what's out here. But this is a positive card to get. Um, also, so we have some crazy energy out here. Some type of a recovery is, is in the hidden that's also coming to the surface here. Taurus, I think this also came out in your reading as well. Um, the, the, the somebody who has mental issues, physical issues, spiritual issues for some people. Okay, for other people, it's just some type of a recovery is here as well. So it's obviously, you know, something was deceptive, laying down, hunting and chasing and plotting things. And somebody had also taken some stupid bribe against somebody. And that's craziness, man. That's craziness. But we do see some type of ending. So we do have a doctor. And so, you know, if what's hidden, something is coming to the surface um, for some type of... Um, a, you know doctor visit or you're you know getting advising for something in your body then that's here otherwise you know the emperors that have a baby and should be in the hospital and recover I could read it that way as well uh, in the hidden space that you will learn about that's real emotional stuff though going on to somebody uh, we have the GN, okay, which makes a gun situation. Somebody lost somebody through a gun situation, and we have, or obviously this is a law card. We have law with the Empress. Something's happened, and somebody you know got you know she got money in her hands, and somebody got uh, um, you know set up or something like that. Then possibly that could be out here with the phonics, um, whatever that means. But this is a hidden relationship that was somewhere when it comes out. Also, a fertility room. We got pregnancy issues out here for some of you all. It's really just made something real bitter. I send you love and light. Um, this pleasures and luxuries and stuff like that. If somebody deceived around some stupidness because somebody's holding a bag of money here, then something's here with that. Okay. Well, if you're dealing with two X's, it also looks like two X's here. Let's take some cards with some words on it. Yehovah, show me Taurus and Capricorn, please. I just heard Yehovah say, if you can't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven. And if somebody wouldn't forgive and something really bad came out of that and somebody lost their ever-loving mind, then we got a crazy person out here that's done something stupid. We have, there is a way that seems right and demand, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And somebody's died and thought something was, if somebody else got this, I think Aries Energy got that. Uh, that was a huge sad reading as well. Okay, and somebody went down a wrong road. They thought that riches were, you know, the way to go real quick. And some evil came out of that ordeal. So somebody died within some money situation. Then I guess so. The righteous man wisely considers the house of the wicked. Elohim overthrows the wicked for their wickedness. Well, we see something ending here. Okay, some, something's here. If you're dealing with fire issues, this is an all-consuming fire in the Hebrew. We also see just in, in pictures fire here uh, around some ordeal or somebody's tooth is here. We could have a dentist that's also here possibly or just any physician is also here. Um, something about somebody's leg could also be here as well. This is about using your wisdom. We have something about shocked. And somebody got shocked within some ordeal, I guess so, or electricity shocked somebody, then impossibly so. Something unexpected, that's tower energy. Okay, well, obviously something was unexpected to somebody. Somebody's just sitting here crying because something flipped over here within some ordeal. Or maybe something unexpected is going to turn out for your good. If you turn around and take those cups, there's a, a there's somebody here that's got integrity around some ordeal. There's a friend here, okay? Um, there's healing that's showing up here in the hidden space. There's loyalty and protection here. Okay? It's positive. There's been drugs involved in some ordeal. And Yehovah says to go towards them today. So somebody has somebody that they need to go towards them and turn around for forgiveness. Regardless how emotional this thing is, you know you've got to. If there's third outside party and they're wicked, okay, uh, you need to turn your back on them and go towards somebody today. If this is your mother or, you know, you, 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 that's your child that you need to go to or something like that, then you need to go towards them today. 
okay? Create in me a clean heart, O Elohim, and renew a right spirit within me, and cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Well, somebody's got some good energy out here to turn around and to repent about something that's went down. If it went down with your friend, I guess it did. If you'll be a good friend, you get them to do the right thing. A DJ is here or somebody with the, the letters D and J is here. But if you know, if, if you're dealing with somebody who's in the public eye and they're a DJ, then that's here. Um, if somebody got bruised really bad. If somebody got whipped or roped uh, or somebody got bound with their wrist and lashed with the rope and got wounded and hurt real bad. Something out here is here. Then somebody was mean. Um, I'm afraid of you energy has been here. Well, something's happened. If somebody's bitter, somebody plotted something, we know that to be the case, man, because it came out. And some, some, some type of a real shocked, oh, my God, energy then came out of something. If somebody got beat up and whipped and they went crazy over that ordeal, there's something about that information that's been hidden that's coming to the surface here, okay? Something will be known about some ordeal or somebody got shot in the head and uh, somebody went down the wrong way, thought something was the right way to go and that they died out of that ordeal and then somebody went crazy out of that it's been very emotional and caused somebody else to be bitter out of an ordeal, then that's your, then there's law involvement and something like that. We have something though that will be, um, closing out because we're seeing it we have integrity out here for some people regardless if somebody else isn't they'll go to jail for it because it's come out way too many times on these readings i'm just compelled to look at the bottom take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness this is what come out for your reading until next time shalom